Hi, this is Sonia Doucette. In this video, I'll show you how to use both molar mass and Avogadro's number as conversion factors to find the number of atoms or molecules or ions or formula units. Remember, Avogadro's number, which is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, is, tells you how many units of something are in one mole of a, of a substance. So you could have the number of atoms in a mole, the number of molecules in a mole, or the number of ions or formula units in a mole. So let me illustrate this through these examples. The first question says, how many molecules of carbon monoxide are in 3.7 grams of carbon monoxide? So in order to use Avogadro's number, you need to get what you know, which is in grams at this point, into moles first, because again, what Avogadro's number is telling you is that in this case, you'd have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of carbon monoxide in one mole of carbon monoxide. So in order to relate grams to molecules, you need to go through moles. So this is how you would do this problem. You start with 3.7 grams of carbon monoxide, and then you use the molar mass to get from grams of carbon monoxide to moles of carbon monoxide. The molar mass is one mole of carbon monoxide per 28.01 grams of carbon monoxide. So at this point, you can cancel out the grams of carbon monoxide, and now you can use Avogadro's number to get from moles to molecules. So you have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of carbon monoxide in one mole of carbon monoxide. So the moles of carbon monoxide will cancel out and you're left with the molecules. So when you do the math there, you're gonna end up with a number that is 8.0 times 10 to the 22 molecules of carbon monoxide. So that's your answer. The second question asks, how many atoms of helium are in 1.4 grams of helium gas. So you do this problem in a similar way. You start with your 1.4 grams of helium and then you use the molar mass of helium to get from grams to moles. So that tells you that in one mole of helium you have 4.003 grams of helium. And again, you're getting that number from the atomic mass of helium in the periodic table. Grams will cancel here, you're left with moles, and then you can say that you have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of helium in one mole of helium. So moles of helium cancel out, and when you do the math here to the correct number of significant figures, you'll get 2.1 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of helium. So there is your answer. And one more type of problem here, because you can also use Avogadro's number to look at the number of formula units, which is, remember, how we express ionic compound ratios of different elements. And then you can also look at the number of cations or anions. So we'll look at that as well. So the problem says, how many sodium chloride formula units and sodium cations are in 1.2 grams of sodium chloride? So you do similar type of thinking here. You start with your 1.2 grams of sodium chloride and if you want to get to the number of formula units, you need to use Avogadro's number, and to do that, you have to get things in terms of moles first. So you look up the molar mass 
for sodium chloride, add the atomic mass of sodium plus the atomic mass of chloride, and you'll get 58 point, oops, let's see if this eraser works. That should be a four. 58.44 grams of sodium chloride in one mole of sodium chloride. Grams are going to cancel out here, and then you can say that you have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd formula units of sodium chloride in one mole of sodium chloride. So moles are going to cancel out here, and you're left with 1.2 times 10 to the 22 formula units of sodium chloride. So to answer the second part of this question, you do something very similar. So you start with your 1.2 grams of sodium chloride, and you say you have one mole of sodium chloride per 58.44 grams of sodium chloride. And then you have to think about how to relate the sodium cations to the sodium chloride moles. So you can basically say that in one, one mole of sodium cations, you have one mole of sodium chloride. And then there's one more step here because at this point we've canceled moles of sodium chloride and we've canceled out grams of sodium chloride. So the final step here is to gonna, is gonna be to go from moles of sodium cation to the number, actual number of sodium cations. So you can use Avogadro's number here. You have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd sodium cations for every one mole of sodium cations. And you're gonna get the same number here as you did for the sodium chloride formula units. You get 1.2 times 10 to the 22 sodium cations in 1.2 grams of sodium chloride. So that's it. That's a demonstration of using both molar mass and Avogadro's number to get either atoms, molecules, ions, or formula units.